you're going to do some experiments over Scientific there, you guys? Scientific experiments. Really? Yes. Okay. Chef Manthorpe is with me. Carlton, uh, you. Science is what we're talking about. Uh, chemistry specifically, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, there are some cool things you're planning on doing on Saturday night. Yes. This is going to be our first uh, outdoor magic show at night. Okay. So the line we're using is we're either going to blow it up or glow it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with the second. Okay. Right? So, okay, so this is uh, an interesting one. This is actually pretty standard stuff. This is a crazy liquid in here. This is actually not your, if we could turn the lights down just a little bit for this experiment here. Um, actually, look at that. But this is not a crazy liquid, in fact. No, this is actually just tonic water off the shelf. What is it about tonic water that has the black light have this effect on it? Well, the actual tonic in tonic water is quinine. Right. People used to drink it as uh, a malaria preventative. And quinine is actually the anti-malarial agent in there. Really? And that's okay. also what fluoresces under oh. ultraviolet light. So that's why your drink was glowing with the GTs on yeah. that night. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Uh, okay, so that's pretty, pretty cool, an everyday yeah. liquid like that. And we got another one here. What is the woo? Now, that's pretty serious. Yeah, this is one I brought last time when I was here. Mm -hmm. But this time, I changed up a little bit. Instead of making it a color, we just made it glow. Right. And you can see it's a free flowing liquid. But now what I'm going to do oh boy. is I'm going to add some of this in. I'm going to stir it up. OK. You'll notice it's getting thicker. Right. Oh, yeah, it's turning into a gel. Yeah, so. But you wouldn't want to ki put your kids in this bath. Well, <laughs> this actually, um, the, the glowing material, mm -hmm. the solution that's in there is polyvinyl alcohol, which is actually used in cosmetics. Ah, and okay. the other solution that I'm pouring in here is actually a solution of borax. I have no idea what borax is. It's actually uh, it been used for a laundry detergent for quite a long time. Okay. And so, I've put a fluorescent dye in here. Right. And you can see that this is really nicely. Yeah, look at that. It becomes a fluorescent gel. Yeah, it's, it's really a slime. Ew. It is becoming goo. Yeah. It, look so at this. this is the stuff that uh, you can buy in toy stores. Okay, so, it's, and it's perfectly safe. Yeah, it like is. Like I can touch it. Yeah, go on. Oh, it's so slimy. Excellent. Yeah. That's so cool. So uh, lots of applications, including uh, sliming your friends. Absolutely. Which you might want to do. Um, and we also have uh, a cool experiment. Dry ice people have seen before, but it, it, what it, dry ice is, is maybe, maybe just people don't know that it's actually frozen carbon what? dioxide. Right. Yeah. And it, does carbon dioxide have a liquid state? Not at atmospheric pressure. Okay. So it actually doesn't uh, melt or evaporate. It actually sublimes, and which means it goes directly from being a solid to being a gas. Right. And uh, you can get actually liquid CO2 at h pressures higher than atmospheric pressure. Which, um, I don't know. I don't think I've ever been in pressure higher than atmospheric pressure. Not unless you've been in a decompression chamber <laughs> right, and exactly. scuba diving. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, fire, we know, needs oxygen to survive. In fact, it's what it right. thrives off of. Right. And so wh what are we going to do here? Well, one of the properties of carbon dioxide is that it's more dense than air. Right. And we also know that we can use carbon dioxide to put out a fire, right? Carbon right. dioxide fire extinguishers. Gotcha. So what I've done here is hopefully in here, this hasn't all evaporated, but we've got a container filled with carbon dioxide gas. Okay. And hopefully, as I pour it in here, it will. Oh, but it's invisible. Yeah, you can't see it. I sure can't. Look at that. Because and when you first started it. We're running out of CO2 here. Yeah, yeah, well, we've got. But we got, we got a little bit more a here. A little bit more here. So what's interesting is when you see it drop into a liquid, you, you can see the, the vapor itself. Yeah, you can see it evaporate. Right. And so if you pour that, yeah. well, let's that see will put here. out in its gas form because it's robbing the oxygen. Is that why? That's, Look how quickly it's that drops. And if it gets down there. Well, we might have a little too much of a. Oh, there, oh, oh, there, there goes. we go. Oh, oh, we almost had it. 
<laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Apparently, rapid oxygen, by the way, also puts it out. Yeah. Um, so that's a very cool experiment. And if you have enough, which you know you may have had to transport a bit too much, but yeah. pour it in, an invisible gas is putting out the flames. And then yeah. these are the kinds of things that get kids interested. They're really fun experiments, and I'm sure that Saturday's event is something that kids would love. Absolutely, it's going to be great. Yeah, uh, we're going to uh, show people how fireworks are made. Um, really? Yeah, okay. and uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna light off some thermite, which actually goes up to two thousand five hundred degrees. Wow! And actually melts iron. Okay. So thermite. Yeah. These are the kinds of things you can see Saturday. Tell me where. Uh, it's gonna be on the Carleton University campus mm -hmm. uh, at our outdoor amphitheater, which is right next to Southern Hall. All right. So if you go to our website, there's a map there, and it'll tell you where you can park and so on. Right. And what time? I guess around d dusk. That's right. Yeah. We're gonna have the show itself. will start around dusk, around 8:30, mm -hmm. um, maybe a little after, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have some hands-on activities for uh, people to try, starting at around 7:30. I'm gonna make myself a blue drink. Head my way over there. No. <laughs> We're gonna, these are the kind of cool things you can see. Look how dark and cool that is. Light up the night at Carleton University on uh, Saturday. Check it out. We're back with more to wrap up the show on CTV Morning Live after this.